Today we are going to learn how to divide a number by a two-digit number. We have already seen how to do a long division with a divisor of one digit and without a remainder. But in this video we are going to learn how to divide by a divisor of two digits. But first, don't forget to review the multiplication tables. We will divide 5929 by 24. I will remind you that we call the number 5929 dividend, 24 is called divisor and we write the result here and we call it the quotient. As for a division with a divisor of one digit, we start from the left to the right. Here we will start with the number 5 and we want to divide 5 by 24. So we ask ourselves the question, 24 times what gives us 5 or a number very close to 5 or we can say, how many times we repeat the number 24 to get 5? It is of course 0 times, so we can write 0 in the quotient or we don't write anything. Here in this long division, the number 5 is smaller than the divisor which is 24, so we have to take 2 digits, which means we take 59. 59 is greater than 24, and now we can continue. So when we want to do the long division, always start by taking a number greater than or equal to the divisor. 59 divided by 24, or 24 times what? gives us 59 or a number very close to 59 or we can say in the number 59 how many 24s do we have it is then necessary to find the multiple of 24 which is very close to 59 and at the same time this multiple must not be greater than 59 so we want to try to do a little calculation to find the answer to facilitate our work, we want to hide the last digit of the divisor and the dividend. So we hide the 9 in the number 59 and the 4 in the number 24. And then we say 2 times what gives us 5 or a number very close to 5? The answer is of course 2. Then write 2 in the quotient and now we will multiply 24 by 2 and we will write the result here under the 59. 2 times 4 equals 8, we write 8 under the 9, 2 times 2 equals 4, we write 4 under the 5, so 2 times 24 equals 48. Now we will subtract 59 minus 48, 9 minus 8 equals 1, and 5 minus 4 equals 1. Notice that the remainder which is 11 is less than the divisor which is 24, but we still have digits to bring them down, so we can continue. Now we will bring down the number 2 and put it next to 1. So we will have 112 and we have to divide 112 by 24. Similarly, we will hide the number 4 in the number 24 and number 2 in the number 112. And we will ask the question, 2 times what gives us 11 or a number very close to 11? It is 2 times 5. So let's multiply 24 by 5. 5 times 4 equals 20. We write 0 and we carry 2. 5 times 2 equals 10, then add the carry, which is 2, which makes 12, so 24 times 5 equals 120. But be cautious, the number 120 is greater than 112, so here we cannot multiply 24 by 5. So we're going to erase 120, and we should take the number that comes just before 5, which is 4. So we multiply 24 by 4. 4 times 4 equals 16, we write 6 and we carry 1. 4 times 2 equals 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, so 24 times 4 equals 96. 96 is less than 112, so now we can subtract. 112 minus 96, 2 minus 6 is impossible, so we cross out the 1 and we write 0, and we put 1 next to 2, which will be 12. 12 minus 6 equals 6, now 10 minus 9 equals 1. So 112 minus 96 equals 16. 16 is less than 24, but we still have a digit to bring it down, so we can continue our division. Similarly, we will bring down 9 and we put it next to 6. And now we have the number 169, and we want to divide it by 24, then we are going to repeat the same steps. We hide the last digit of each number. In the number 169, we hide the 9, and in the number 24, we hide the 4, and we say, 2 times what gives us 16? It's 2 times 8, which is 16. Then we write 8 in the quotient and multiply 24 by 8. 8 times 4 equals 32. We will write 2 under the 9 and we will carry 3. 8 times 2 equals 16. We add 3 to 16, it will be 19. So 24 times 8 equals 192. But be cautious, 192 is greater than 169. So here we cannot take 8 to multiply it by 24. 
So we will erase the number 8 and the number 192. And we must take the number which comes just before 8, which is 7, then multiply 24 by 7. 7 times 4 equals 28. We write 8 and we carry 2. 7 times 2 equals 14. Plus 2 equals 16. So 24 times 7 equals 168. 168 is less than 169. So we can continue and subtract 168 out of 169. 169 minus 168 equals 1. And since there are no more digits to bring it down, then our division is over. Notice that the remainder must always be less than the divisor. 1 is less than 24. So 5929 divided by 24 equals 247. And the remainder equals 1. And we write it in this form, since the remainder is not 0. We can verify that our work is correct by multiplying 247 by 24 and adding 1. We will get 5929. The division is done. And now all you have to do is to practice to divide well.